Hi, I'm going to read from you for you from a daily meditation that I have called the language of letting go. And I'm calling today Transparency Thursday because this is like just all me has all me me written all over it. And it's called Be Who You Are, October 1st. And I'm going to say 2020. In recovery, we're learning a new behavior. It's called Be Who You Are. For some of us, this can be frightening. What would happen if we felt what we felt? said what we wanted, became firm about our beliefs, and valued what we needed? What would happen if we let go of the camouflage and the adaption? What would happen if we owned our power to be ourselves? What Would people still like us? Would they go away? Would they become angry? There comes a time when we become willing and ready to take that risk. To continue growing and living with ourselves, we realize that we must liberate ourselves. It becomes time to stop allowing ourselves to be so controlled by others and their expectations and be true to ourselves, regardless of the reaction of others. Before long, we begin to understand some people may go away, but the relationship would have to end anyway, would have ended anyway. Some people stay and love and respect us more for taking the risk of being who we are. We begin to achieve intimacy and relationships that work. We discover that who we are has always been good enough. It is who we were intended to be. And the ending, uh, I don't know what to call it. It says, today, I will own my power to be myself. And that's what I want to say today. I'm owning my power to be myself. I'm, I'm starting to be true and authentic. Um, I don't have to like any everything and you don't have to like everything about me. I want to be, um, my, my mentor and I talk about something that we say, um, say what you mean, mean what you say, but just don't say it mean. And that has been my goal for the past couple of years now. And it's working for me. Um, not all everyone is able to accept that, but that's how I feel at this current time. So I thank you for taking the time to listen to me today. And that's all I got. I love to hear what you have to share with me October 1st.